right here with the Acosta family. Welcome, guys. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having us. I need to see your papers. I don't have any papers. All right, come. Oh, don't take them. No. My hands are tied. What changed in you to be part of this series? Me siento muy orgulloso de estar Latino, you know. I feel so... I was always proud to be, you know, a Latino, you know. Uh, but I think even more so now, I, I'm really embracing my culture now, yeah. you know, more than ever. Yeah, for me, I don't really, I don't speak Spanish. Um, but definitely being a part of this show and being with Emily, Brandon, and the crew members, I'm definitely picking up on it more and, and, and trying to learn it. And I've, this, this show's definitely brought me closer to my culture and made me appreciate it in a way I never had before, so. But the fact that you don't speak it doesn't make you any less Spanish. Exactly, no, 100%, 100%. Yeah. That's right. No! Time's up, let's go. No, I'm not ready to go. Right. What message do you want to bring? I think at the end of the day, we just want people to take a message of strength and hope mm -hmm. to understand that, yes, this is a show about immigration and, and we are talking about deportation, but really the basis of the show is this strong bicultural family unit. And we honestly just want people to take away a, a message of strength and love and kindness. And I guess we just want to shine light on a topic that deserves to be talked about. And if we can just bring a little bit more understanding and to open people's eyes, then I think we did our job as actors, in my opinion. Yeah, What's exactly. Okay. I agree. <laughs> if I needed you, would you come to me? Would you come to me and ease my pain? If you needed me, I would come to you. I'd swim the seas for to ease your pain. Si me necesitaras, yo vendría por ti. Cruzaría el mar para Okay, uh, what was the most challenging thing, thing on the shooting? I, I don't, for me, I think it was not a challenge, it was more of um, a constant talk with myself is am I bringing the right respect and, and authenticity to these stories that are being told? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, la música. You know, I had to sing and play guitar in the show. So, for me, that was I think the biggest challenge. And for you? For me, I feel like it was probably seeing what and seeing how these families are dealing with all of the things. It, it's really heartbreaking to know what's going on, what's happening with in their lives and stuff. So mm -hmm. probably one of probably that. And what do you think about it? Because it's a real situation. Yeah, I think it's it's crazy how all of this is happening, and it's sad. It really is. I think, to, it's, I think it's very unfortunate. Yeah. But um, also, we're very honored to you know be able to bring these stories to life. You know, because mm -hmm. um, I know it's in the news every day, but not many people even know about it. So in a way, we're humanizing what's happening, yeah. and we're um, bringing it to screen. That way, people can actually know what's actually happening, who it's happening to. You know, the Acostas are just a, a typical family, like anybody else who runs a business, who came to this country with big dreams, you know, the American dream. And uh, it's kind of gotten ripped away from them. So we're just um, bringing these stories straight from the headlines to the screen. For you? For me, I feel like it was probably seeing what, and seeing how these families are dealing with all of the things. It, it's really heartbreaking to know what's going on, what's happening with, in their lives and stuff. So mm -hmm. probably one of, probably that. And what do you think about it? Because it's a real situation. Yeah, I think it's, it's crazy how all of this is happening and it's sad, it really is. I think, it's, I think it's very unfortunate. Yeah. But um, also, we're very honored to you know be able to bring these stories to life. You know, because mm -hmm. um, 
I know it's in the news every day, but not many people even know about it. So in a way, we're humanizing what's happening yeah. and we're um, bringing it to screen. That way people can actually know what's actually happening, who it's happening to. You know, the Acostas are just a, a typical family, like anybody else who runs a business, who came to this country with big dreams, you know, the American dream. And uh, it's kind of gotten ripped away from them. So we're just um, bringing these stories straight from the headlines to the screen. Hello? ISIS down the block, we got a tip. Don't miss it. Party 5 premiere January 8th. Uh, it's never too late to go back and watch. Uh, next episode is when, Nico? Wednesday. 9 p.m. On 8 Amazon. Central. Oh. See you guys there. See ya. Adios. Ah, you're the Deep breaths, okay? <laughs>